welcome to all the PMC English viewers. I'm your host Nandini and I'm here again with another episode of the New Age Family Show. And today we have a beautiful, beautiful couple and the heart of Pyramid International Valley, Bangalore. And they are none other than Chandu sir and Shalini ma'am. Welcome Hi. to PMC English. And uh, I'm really glad that today we are having you both on our platform. Thank you. Thank you, Nandini. Thank you. So I would uh, like to start with Chandu sir. Sir, please yes, share sir. about yourself. Yeah, myself, uh, Chandu. I am from Mahibhubnagar, uh, Telangana state. I started my meditation in the year 2000. The purpose of my uh, coming to meditation is uh, to improve my academics because uh, during my plus two I failed uh, almost uh, six subjects. So then uh, I was just wasting my time and my friends are uh, going to the graduation and they just have a still there only. So uh, I wasted uh, more than two years and uh, uh, everybody was uh, scolding at me. The friends are very uh, little. Some, sometimes they um, score, sometimes they motivate. But uh, uh, basically, I lost my interest towards the studies. Yes. But I, I want to study. And my mind is completely uh, in, a, in a different mode. And uh, after some year, because I wanted to go out of the society to go somewhere else, yeah. to join uh, military mm -hmm. and uh, for that also I have tried and uh, there also I failed and uh, mm, then in one of the, one of, one of my friend Mr. Srikanth, so he told me about this process of meditation and he took me to Patriji's meditation class in Mahibhubhunagar in the year 2000. Yeah, <clears throat> when I went to the meditation class, so there was under, under 300 members for there. So I sat in a meditation for about one hour. And after completion of the meditation, so Patriji said that, so there will be seven kind of experiences are there. Okay. So whomever got the such kind of experiences, raise your hands. So one by one he was telling. So almost uh, all the experiences I got in that meditation. Oh, like wow. uh, seeing colors and becoming light uh, and becoming heavy and uh, some rotated sensation kind of thing. Uh, such kind of experiences I got in uh, meditation. So I was raising my hand for uh, each and every experience. In so a first go? In a first go. Oh, wow. So there I felt like uh, uh, something is there because before, before doing meditation, because nobody has told. Yes. And uh, that was my first meditation experience. Yes. And, uh, there, I, uh, after completion of the meditation, so I took a small, uh, in Telugu, Telugu book that is, okay. and uh, the book title is Anna uh, Parasati, uh, means uh, it's as easy as having the coffee. Oh. Yeah. A empty cup? Yeah, not empty cup because that is in Telugu title. Okay, okay. Anna Parasati ante kafi ta inanta sulabham. It is a Telugu title. Okay. So that, that book, I've, I've taken it and I, I read thoroughly the whole night. And uh, the next day, uh, I was searching for the meditation again because I have to go once again. So there I met uh, my other meditators. And regularly in Mahibhubhunagar, I used to go to the center and I used to practice and reading books. And I became a vegetarian before that because I was completely non-vegetarian. Okay. And that was the first change again yes. in me. Uh, within a very short span of time, I, I passed all my uh, subjects, oh, wow. which I failed. <laughs> so, uh, in my home, because they got a confidence that this guy is a little Doing. changed, yeah. he's focused now. So, that's how uh, um, my journey has started. Okay. Yeah. Wow. wow. So, since then, um, uh, I completed my graduation, then my MBA, wow. and uh, I, I did my, my job in uh, HR department in Hyderabad. And um, in the year 2007, I moved to Bangalore for okay. uh, another job. Okay. So that's how I moved to Bangalore. Oh, wow. Yeah. What an interesting, you know, life journey you just shared with us. 
the journey itself shows like what a master you are so thank you for sharing your journey with us and there's a lot to know yes. about you and you two together so shalini ma'am would you like to share about you and how did you come into meditation and everything yes my name is shalini i started my spiritual journey at my native chennai my mom used to do meditation because of her ill health she wanted to get rid of it and when she came to know that meditation is really helpful that's how she started doing it and uh, being in my 10th standard i didn't find any necessity to do meditation but instead she used to ask me to join her i said i won't be much interested why should i come what should i do after coming there and at one point of time when she continuously started asking me i went there so when i went to the meditation session i was interested to see a lot of different students who are of my age were also there in the sessions okay. like their parents used to bring them yeah so basically when uh, we all know meditation is equivalent to our age so we used to do for some 15 20 minutes and we all used to gather outside and we would be discussing about how did you feel what are your uh, experiences and everything so that was a kind of a motivation for me and through premnath sir i learned about the education tips how it can help for meditation yes. and that is how i started excelling in my studies wow. and uh, in my 10th standard i secured 87% and in my 12th i got 92 so i used to proudly say that this is all because of meditation at one point of time i got a doubt so even my friends secured about 90% but they don't do meditation mm-hmm. I'm saying that I am doing meditation that's why I was able to get so much of marks then is it true mm. so I had this question in my mind I I just started thinking about it during my meditation at that time I got a answer of course the output would be the same but the input time what my friends keep and what I keep for my studies is totally different okay so if they study for 3 hours I would be doing it only for one minute and a half hour, and I used to be so easy going, yeah. light. No they stress. Like, they are like too much of studious. <laughs> Ruth, this is very important question. I have to read this yes, whole night, putting and you are just chilling and still getting the marks. Oh, what! That's the magic of meditation. So then I started understanding, even though the input is different, I have a catalyst called meditation. So with that, the output was the same. So when I started understanding that I thought okay this is something good so why don't I keep continuing it so that's how my spiritual journey started from the year 2004 and from then onwards I'm into this so many of you would have known like patriji only says in 2012 the whole world would change and uh, we have to do as much of spread of meditation yes. so i was thinking then uh, why should i study mm. so better i'll just involve myself only into meditation so i don't have a necessity of studying but at one point of time then uh, patri madam was speaking with me and she told like if you leave your studies and come here people would, would think like you didn't were able to excel in your life so that's why you left everything so that creates a bad name even to the society yeah. then i felt yes this is something to be uh, thought upon okay. i am i am doing my materialistic but still i am spiritual enough so uh, then i started thinking in the another direction i spoke to patri sir so this is my situation but i would like to uh, continue with my studies but i want to study something which would be really helpful for the pssm in the future So so I told like why don't you do it with the computers. Oh wow. So that's how I took my BTech IT and I completed my graduation. Wow. Having such a maturity of understanding at that age, you know, it's really commendable. Thank you for sharing part of your journey with all of us and giving us tips, you know, how like how meditation, how magic of meditation is, you know, just commendable. you need not to separate yourself from uh, any materialistic life or spiritual life it's all go hand in hand it's all one so beautifully discussed thank you ma'am so now that we know who chandu sir is and who shali ma'am is let's let's 
get into how you do met and how this 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 jodi of ours this couple of ours you know manifested so as i was doing my studies and also in the college days uh, we used to have a lot of different events in pssm so that's how we used to go and volunteer in chennai we were a very small group in the initial days so we had a very good uh, time of being with each other listening to each other experiences and also whenever patraji comes to chennai so we used to spend with him he lo- used to give a lot of messages at that time so that's how i was interested and we were uh, taking part in the gcss the first gcss which happened in pyramid valley in the year 2008 so i i wanted to visit pyramid valley and uh, when i visited there i was also taking part as a volunteer so uh, the first visit to pyramid valley was in the year 2005 so during the every year buddha purnima me and my family we all uh, would go there for meditation and taking part in that so in that way in the 2008 event i was part of the volunteer and uh, chandu was leading the team there Oh, so you were both met in Pyramid Valley, or yes. So since then, it's it's that's how it's building up. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a magical place we met, and uh, I was really stunned by his way of working. Oh. So we all, after our volunteer service, the, all the volunteers and other team leaders and all, we used to have a good time, gala time together. Mm. but he was like um, no i have to go i have to take care of the event so even in the nights like he used to take care of the whole of the pyramid so that the pyramid is again ready for the next day event in the morning meditation and patriji used to travel every day from bangalore city we had another parallel event okay. so he used to travel from there to here every day okay and um, he supposed to take care of the things so he used to be very much in the line so responsible i was like are in this age people should enjoy and also be responsible i was like shocked oh so hardcore working person yes. so that was the first impression i had in my mind when i met chandu for the first time do you agree with his first impression yeah because i don't know because uh, she said uh, i'm not enjoying and i'm only working but my part of enjoyment i think she might have not seen by the time because i enjoy working uh because especially uh when we when we do volunteering or working for the pssm activities so there is a uh, there will be always our soul will be enjoying so um, i always go with that i will i'll go with the flow and definitely because whatever whatever she has said it is it's true <laughs> because i enjoy working and especially in pyramid valley events and everything and uh, because even there is a there is a major part of in my life uh, which i've learned many things yes we all know how hard working you two are so even we are kind of a witness of this truth so we got to know that you met in pyramid valley on in 2008 so how did it started we we got to know the side of uh, from shanin ma'am now we want to know your side uh, there was a meeting in uh, same same event in a different angle yeah <laughs> okay. that's why that's why we, we want to know your angle <laughs> there we uh, uh, more than 30 to 40 members were uh, uh, they were there all the volunteers because we have uh, have been um, the complete uh, the area of working and the team um, the groups and everything and i explained uh, the activities and uh, the significance of the event then i uh, when i when i saw her uh, uh okay because uh, my mind was completely occupied with uh, uh, what are the skill set and where exactly yes. they will be allocated <laughs> yes okay so uh, when i saw her uh, so immediately i felt like okay uh, she is she is perfect for the uh, bookstore 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 as a volunteer because they they require 3 uh, uh, to 4 volunteers then uh, immediately when i saw her and uh, i felt like uh, she is uh, perfectly suitable for the uh, a bookstore and uh, because she is a good smile and uh, good uh, oh. communication skill set <laughs> communication skills are there and uh, she is very smart uh, by handling the people so i just saw some of the skill sets because yeah. i have come from hr background uh, <laughs> so i have seen volunteers in uh, that angle yes. 
So, yeah, that was my first impression. And she has, uh, I don't know, 100% justification for the um, for her role in, uh, in during the event in book space. Was it impressing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as a team lead, uh, I was You're impressed. Completely. <laughs> yes. So, it, it is so interesting, like, I just noticed that you shared that uh, you were managing the team and you were taking care of the event and she was taking care of the bookstore and that somehow, you know, it's a, it's kind of the same scenario now. So, it's interesting, like, how journey became, you know, you started your uh, journey together and you're leading your life, that's your life purpose. Yes. So, it's really interesting how you two met, you know. It's uh, I'm, I'm hearing such a story for the first time that you met in PSSM while volunteering and that's how you know the journey began. It's really interesting. So my next question to Shalini ma'am is that we know that we got to know that you both met only while working. So how, how the thing started you know uh, how the that work relationship turned into a, a life re, lifetime relationship, a partnership. So we didn't have much of mobiles or WhatsApp, even Facebook that time. So we used to have just an awkward account and uh, sometimes we used to chat in the Gmail hangouts. Yeah. So uh, probably in some other event, I would have met him again. But other than Chandu, I had other team members. They were much more closer to me than Chandu, actually speaking. So we had a lot of common friends. Oh. So All through right. the common friends, uh, like we, I used to hear from about him oh. through them. So all the angels, all the messengers ah. were provided to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and and whenever they used to share also, I still had a feeling that, yeah, this he's a as a kind of a responsible guy because I was in my school days like uh, enjoying so college going na. So I always look up at him as a very responsible and a mature person. But other than that, we have a group of friends. Like we, we have a good time, but later I understood it is not, he, after finishing his work, he used to come down, he used to spend with us and he used to just describe it in stories like how it went on. So after spending with him, I started learning. So it is not just for fun. So there was a lot of learning curve from his experiences, like how to deal with the situation. When something arises, how you across uh, the hiccups, hurdles, everything. So when I started speaking with him, I learned all these things. It was a kind of an inspiration. So not just he's your best friend, he's your teacher also, he's your life partner. So many roles you, you know, it's, it's, it's really interesting. And I think we get to experience this only in PSSM. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And you know, uh, uh, in my home, we used to have a meditation center. So it is a meditation center, especially for ladies. My mom used to run that. And uh, whenever we call the meditators to come down for Pyramid Valley or to any of the Dhyanama Yagna in different places, uh, they used to say, no, madam, my husband is not allowing. So if we come to the uh, regular meditation center, that's fine. But we are not allowed for the out of station programs. When I heard it for the first time, I thought, will this be my scenario after marriage? Then I was really shocked and I had a, just a random thought. I don't want to miss my meditation and my transformation for any Tom, Dick and Harry who comes into my life. <laughs> yes. So why should I leave my happiness aside? Because we don't know how the situation would be going to another home. Correct. So at that moment, by listening to her words, a sudden thought came, popped up telling like I should be with a partner who is into this who knows about PSSM and who is completely drenched into PSSM Wow. so that was a thought which popped up and I don't know like that's how we now name it as manifestation or the visualization so probably in those days I, I don't know that but now if I uh, look back and that's how it happened wow. I really didn't want to work on that but my thought popped up that day and it is now into the reality. Wow, it's a, it's a beautiful realization, you know, that's how our inner, uh, our inner voice leads us to our uh, soul path, you know, that's how he brought him to Chandu sir. Yes, and how about you? 
how did you give your friendship into turn into a relationship once i reached to bangalore in the year 2007 the my purpose of coming to the bangalore is uh, uh, doing job and at the same time during weekends i want to i wanted to go to pyramid valley so uh, that that's the main purpose okay. so i used to do uh, the same style because even the during gfss first gfss also because i i i applied for a leave of uh, 10 days then i i went for the service so that's where uh, mm, i met shalini oh, yeah, yeah uh, that was uh, in 2008 and 2009 april because i i just strongly felt that uh, mm, i want to become a full time full time uh, service okay. because towards pssm towards PS, pssm because i was when i was doing two days uh, voluntary activity and service activities saturday and sunday so i used to, I used to get a lot of satisfaction inner mm-hmm. satisfaction and uh, the remaining five days like i was not enjoying mm-hmm. so i have taken my inner call and uh, uh, one fine day i just i, I resigned my job so in the year 2009 so by the time non family members and a uh, uh, few close friends because they were little uh, shocked. shocked how can you do that <laughs> yeah because uh, you got settled and you 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 and you're not even married now how is married. it going to like you yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so many so many uh, discussions but uh, i didn't i didn't i didn't care about it and uh, because i want my inner satisfaction and my uh, for purpose of life yes. so that's how i am i am leading to towards to it so there uh, like um, <clears throat> i felt like uh, the person who can understand uh, about my um, nature of activities and pssm patri ji so such kind of girl if it is if she is okay then uh, i can go for the relationship so that's how it, it was there in my mind but uh, eventually because i was completely occupied with uh, uh dhyana kasturi the karnataka kannada magazine yes and i was completely uh, taking care of the magazine part okay yeah, yeah, yeah because i was given that responsibility by, by patri sir mm. and about uh, two years i have extensively traveled uh, through karnataka and whenever patri ji comes to karnataka i was was ac- accompanying so those are my activities and uh, all this uh, the the duration of the 2009 to uh, uh, 10 almost uh, one one and a half year because she used to give me a lot of literature oh. support oh, like wow. of, uh, all patriji's articles from uh, english in english to kannada because uh, I, i want kannada uh, translation translation yeah. because she used to give me a lot of uh, uh, patriji's articles articles because when patriji goes to uh, chennai Uh, wherever because uh, um, there she used to listen and uh, she used to write all the articles and oh, wow. to me so that's how our relationship has you, become so strong you you were already worked out working as team you yeah, know yeah. oh my god <laughs> so that's how uh, we feel like uh, okay yeah mm, she she is a uh, right person yeah, i just felt but i didn't express it i just felt it and uh, uh, when i missed uh, dhyanama chakramindam amaravati okay. in the year 2010 okay. and uh, after completion of course i i i have gone to gulbarga uh, there uh, i have put a uh, dhyana kasturi and kannada uh, literature stall okay. so there patri has given me a responsibility to be there so i was missing the dhyanama chakram mm. uh, amaravati dhyanama chakram mm. so there after uh, completion of the meditation session and message so uh, she used to call me and explain complete patriji concepts so uh, that was really boosting me yeah so uh, all the uh, seven days really uh, uh, she helped me a lot uh, by giving these messages oh. so there we, i i felt like yeah she's she's, a, a she's a right person so that's wow. how my inner call such as a great uh, you know sp- spiritual support that you found in her that's really interesting i like you you seems like an idol couple you know how beautifully you met into spirituality only and how spiritually as a friends you were taking care of each other and it's it's really beautiful and inspiring to all of you know all of us uh, the world is not just about messaging and sending emojis it's it's about how deeply you connect with each other and how you help each other growing you know growing uh, from your within not just you know from the outer world or materialistic world or gifts or something like that 
So it's really, really interesting. So uh, now that uh, we have known your, uh, your lo love journey, I would like to ask you to like, were there any challenges that you faced from your, you know, family side or anything like that while you were together or while you decided to be together? You know, were there any challenges you faced? My elder brother also is there actually. Oh. My, uh, so um, by the time he was uh, preparing for the, uh, he, was, he was an advocate. So he's trying for the judge exams and everything. So uh, I'm the um, youngest. And uh, then I expressed about uh, uh, Shalini and uh, the situation. But initially uh, they were uh, shocked mm -hmm. because your uh, brother is there. Yes. And moreover, uh, who is Shalini? Yes. And uh, you uh, designed your job. And uh, how can you uh, uh, take another girl into the risky? Yes. journey <laughs> and uh, uh, this kind of arguments have been uh, uh, taken place yes. and uh, but when when they saw Shalini uh, because they were quite uh, impressed and uh, oh, wow. they, they started uh, scolding me <laughs> for yeah I was yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> How did you, you know, convince them that? Yeah, I convinced because she is, she is fine. She is okay with that. She is go, ready to go to the uh, risky path. And uh, then uh, their uh, Shalini's parents are always, al already they are into meditation. They are, they are uh, uh, watching me since uh, uh, more than two, three years. So they know me because from their side there is no problem and only uh, from my side because initially there was some uh, this kind of communications were taken place and uh, finally they agreed and uh, uh, and one more surprising is that because uh, first they have seen Shalini that in uh, directly and just one day one day ago uh, one day one day before the engagement they, they have seen. Oh, that was sudden for them. <laughs> we can't blame them. <laughs> I just called them for, to see the girl, but after seeing the girl, I told them tomorrow is the engagement. <laughs> if they'll see this now, they'll be laughing a lot. <laughs> because now they know what they found. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I called them to, that, that, that is also in Pyramid Valley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everything come down to Pyramid Valley, yes, you know. Yes, yes. That was in, I think, in the year 2011, uh, May. Yes. And uh, that one, because how Patricia supports in each and every step, because I'll tell you an example. Uh, because that engagement uh, time has been fixed today by evening, actually. Yeah. And uh, the mom, because I have arranged everything, coordination, everything. Then, uh, in the afternoon, he said, uh, not today, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we'll conduct it. Oh. Yeah, because uh, I was little, little completely confused and I uh, have to rearrange everything, all the coordinations, family mm -hmm. members and everything. And uh, suddenly, on that day evening, there was huge rains. Oh, wow. And the program, is, the program itself, it's, it's completely... Oh, cancelled and uh, that's how because we, he supported in each and every step correct yeah that's how masters helped that's you. how ma masters helped us wow. and next day morning during the engagement uh, there was uh, around uh, three thousand people were there oh yes that's that's where i was my next question do i i really want you to share your experience about your marriage because i heard it's a pyramid marriage and it was the first pyramid marriage of tamil nadu wow So, 3,000 people experiencing this, this divine moment. So, how was it for you guys? Wow. So, the moment we decided to uh, go with each other, <coughs> I had a quest in my mind. Like, I like you, you like me, that's fine. But I really want to check out, are we okay for each other? Yes. 
so we don't know really you are my partner so we wanted to speak with patri ji once and after that go on to the next step so that's how when patri sir came into uh, in the in the month of january to chennai we both went together and he was shocked to see chandu in chennai like what are you doing here <laughs> yeah, i didn't give you this task <laughs> right now <laughs> so the moment uh, we started expressing so these are the scenarios and we wanted to know like how is that are we okay to move forward and he just immediately said one thing sir uh, we want to have your decision on that then he immediately said an enlightened master will support he will never interfere in others personal affairs whatever is your decision i will support you because i am an enlightened master oh wow it just gave me goosebumps <laughs> so these were the words uh, he uttered when he saw both of us together for the first moment and uh, we were really interested to get a pyramid marriage done at pyramid valley because that's how we met each other and also he resides in bangalore so we wanted to do it there but sir was specific uh, no i want to connect the marriage in chennai i have got board doing lot of marriages in buddha purnima <laughs> and pyramid valley so i want to get the marriage done at tamil nadu oh. they're like okay sir fine however you wish so and that's how the master is he told his decision but suddenly he told uh, you guys were interested so why don't you get your engagement done there no. was no plan of engagement at all from our side like okay sir this is something a good option so that's how we opted to go for pyramid valley and uh, as chandu was telling about the heavy rains and everything so the moment we were on the stage because it was postponed we got engaged on the buddha purnima day that too immediately after the morning meditation wow i have never seen any event like that after the morning meditation it used to be generally in the evenings so after thousands of people meditating in the pyramid valley wow. in the presence of patri sir it was just the awesome moment wow and uh, he asked me what do you like in him so i told on the stage <laughs> yes <laughs> and i told him sir he likes you that's why i like him <laughs> <laughs> he must be <laughs> flashing <laughs> So that was my one word answer. Yes. He was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> Green signal from my side. Yes. <laughs> and that's how it uh, moved towards the pyramid marriage. So we were very much specific that because we both are pyramid masters, yes. and we were not interested in that uh, traditions. Yeah. No, see, it's not like traditions because sitting down, doing that homa, the mantras. Uh, we What's were like value to it. and for for our viewers i would like because you you have experienced it what is pyramid marriage i want so pyramid marriage is a kind of a marriage where it happens amongst the energies of pyramid masters so when the group of pyramid masters we do that um, engagement or the marriage after a meditation ceremony that becomes the energy when uh, the energy is formed and when the marriage or the engagement happens at that moment uh the life the prosperity what we are See. seeing foreseeing for the future would be really strong wow yes so and a uh, lot of my relatives who are not into the meditation they were all really astonished to know what is pyramid marriages yes. so even though we invited many of the families like we know generally when we invite people they would be like two or three members attending from the family just for the attendance sake but as though we planned there were a lot of public just to see what is going to happen yes they they, they wanted to know what is going to happen what is pyramid marriage we heard about uh, what is this new kind of religion <laughs> but how is their experience about the pyramid? it was it was different even my college friends my schoolmates who all had been there they were really shocked to see that and such amount of gathering and i was really interested because that is the moment where my relatives and my friends can get introduced to meditation correct so that was another agenda 
your your marriage also a point where <laughs> people will understand your meditation of course and we also made a marriage invitation card in the shape of a pyramid oh wow so he made it specially done so it was a shape of a pyramid wow. so the four sides like we had my photograph and his photograph and the other two sides it's like one is patri ji's and other is about the venue and the details wow like you are perfect pyramid masters and perfect <laughs> pyramid spiritual couples it's it's really interesting to know this story and uh, on the day of marriage i can it was a different uh, happening there so when patri ji was speaking with us so he told uh, this is not a marriage this is a marriage meeting correct Yes. So I want members to come down speak on their behalf that I am supporting this couple. So he invited Mr. Madhusudan from Tamil Nadu so to speak that I support this couple on behalf of Tamil Nadu and Sumangala madam on behalf of Karnataka. Oh wow. And Ayappa on behalf of Paima and Sai Kumar sir on behalf of North India. Oh my god. So they were really different people whom Patri ji called them asked them to speak that how you would like to support this couple yes and after everyone patri ji spoke and he told on behalf of the intergalactic federation i am supporting this couple oh my god <laughs> he took it to another level only oh wow this is truly a new age family where you know there is no uh, bondation in a relationship or in fa- in fact when the ceremony is happening you know you have to show something it's just pure blessings it's pure uh, support that you show to each other that's what pyramid marriages are you know uh, doing that's really beautiful we just uh, heard a beautiful beautiful experience of chandu sir and shalini ma'am how in their beautiful experience uh, how pyramid marriage not only in the experience in the in, in front of a gathering of 3000 people pyramid masters you know and uh, but also how their family members who did not know what pyramid marriage is had a beautiful experience and they they really got interested into meditation uh, so moving on i would like to ask uh, chandu sir yes ma'am that uh, now that uh, you know we covered all the areas of love story marriage but now that uh, we know that you're working together also also you are life partner how is that working out how are you balancing out your love relationship your partnership towards your life as a you know as a man and a woman as well as you are working together as a co-workers and uh, yes would you like to share something about it yeah uh... Just after getting married, because we got settled in uh, Bangalore city, not in uh, Pyramid Valley. So mm-hmm. Bangalore city, uh, so we have taken a, a, a double bedroom and uh, completely uh, furniture and everything uh, Shalini's parents have arranged. So it's completely full, uh, like a settled. Yes. And uh, I was running uh, publications, uh, Pyramid Dhyana publications. okay so uh, that was our plan actually because i can go for the uh, i can work for the pyramid uh, dhana publications and uh, uh, she can she because the initial plan was that uh, because uh, after uh, btech computers she can go for the job okay. so that was uh, her ideal plan but uh, after 3 months so we got uh, married in the uh, uh, 2011 december Okay. and uh, in the year 2012 march so one day we, we went to uh, pyramid valley and uh, she has given a coffee to patri sir okay so one coffee has changed whole life <laughs> whoa okay the coffee can because uh, i can i can give the statement coffee can change your life oh man one you... coffee wow okay so she has gone and uh, gave the coffee to patri sir and uh, then sir is having the coffee sir said coffee is so nice and whenever i come to pyramid valley <laughs> you have to give the coffee to me <laughs> then she thought okay patri sir will come very every month in a while. once yeah. in a while so she can come and uh, give the coffee yeah so that was the conclusion she had 
let's uh, just extend the discussion <laughs> <laughs> now he's getting to the point <laughs> <laughs> sir sir said uh, okay sir i'll give the coffee whenever you are here so that is okay but uh, uh, you can come directly to you can shift to the valley uh, completely yes uh, and uh, chand chandu can continue his works in the bangalore city so he he will do up and down from the pyramid valley but you can you can live here uh, stay in valley and take care of the book space oh wow the book store so he gave the task yeah he gave the task the first task is to shanli itself yes and uh, then i said uh, i was completely you know in a bangalore city it was we were completely there so immediately so started yeah immediately started call chandu so, Um, so when i come to the uh, padasar place he said shift to the valley completely wow for the next 6 months you be in valley after 6 months you again go, uh, go to the bangalore city i am giving you the 6 months uh, project oh wow and there the f- again the society mm-hmm. and uh, the families had a different uh, reactions so recently you, you got married and uh, mm-hmm. Mm, Rana Sanli will be shifting to another place and she is new to the um, this kind of complete roles full time roles and everything but we mm, both yes. believe that just whatever sir said just you can go with that mm. and uh, all the mm, because there uh, in uh, pyramid valley is a small uh, uh, staff quarters there will be really mm, small rooms will be there so almost Mm. most of the furniture again it has went to the uh, is a chennai yeah. she chennai because i really appreciate uh, the the call which shalini has taken because i was completely as a, doing volunteering and he, here and there i can uh, adjust yes. but uh, as a man yeah. as a woman it takes you know yeah because she is so uh, uh, flexible and uh, she has taken the patriji's word and very seriously and i was very really uh, fortunate yes. uh, to take that kind of uh, decisions and uh, she so is completely yes, most smooth and just we have uh, shifted to pyramid valley mm-hmm. so once because once we shifted when patri sir has come to valley he said to shalini that so thank you very much for accepting mm. oh wow yeah because i was just behind shalini and when sir has come because this is the words Uh, Sarah has told Shani. Oh, wow. So uh, uh, then I realized that we really it was a great a step again in our life. Yes. So since then, uh, Sir was telling all the projects what to be done in the Pyramid Valley, and uh, we used to take uh, every step of uh, the action items with his suggestions, and uh, she she used to take care of the book space and uh, mm, take care of all the departments in Pyramid Valley. so that's how again our uh, journey has started and uh, professionally personally oh. in the uh, campus the staff quarters so that is our complete uh, journey and de- in, during our day to day activities so uh, continuing with that question i like to ask is there any you know any challenges because we have we are uh, proceeding our day to day life so is there any challenge do you face in your personal life and and how spirituality and meditation has helped you cope up that uh, challenge in at workplace or in you know in your personal relationship as together because we are two we are two minds how that happened as being in the two sides of a coin there were pros and cons like being as a life partner <coughs> and both are spiritual people and both being in the same workplace yes because being in pyramid valley is not somewhere out so we stay really nearby like almost just just beside pyramid valley so there's no much of time where we should go to the workplace yes so uh, being in the workplace uh, when i don't know something he really guides me because i was just a college passed out then and uh, as uh, you've also visited pyramid valley so the book space which has got really expanded like anything so when i was there for the first time it w- it used to be a small building yes and we used to have a, a very few books and pyramids 
and uh, being from the background of the IT so I took up uh, saying like why don't we do this in a computerized way that's how the software and the sales everything it started in a different journey when uh, after few years when I asked Patri sir sir I thought don't know like this would be the future of book space but you know about it and whichever place we go the first question an interviewer asks is what is your experience Correct. where were you working before so what is your experience in that place in this particular term so uh, th- this was a common questions which just come up when yeah, all these happen such, such a interesting expressions on chandu's face you're like he's listening hey, yeah, so yeah and just he's listening so interesting acha okay that all right he's he's giving such an interesting expressions all together okay sorry for for yeah. interrupting yes so whenever we, we go for a job and interviewer asks what is your experience where have you worked before so i asked patri ji like you had asked me to take up this book space project i thought don't know what and is uh, the future of that but you know about it and what made you to put a just college passed out into a, such a huge project of yours and uh, you know what patri sir said was he said uh, you have meditation experience so that experience can teach you everything so you have meditation in your background so that can make you go forward with any kind of situation so at that moment he guided me to read the book siddhartha by herman hesse okay that was your first book suggested by sir yes suggested by sir yes so from the situations like um, when i came to know like really meditation will take us forward because sometimes we don't know how to do it but only the knowledge of the spiritual science and the meditation and the thirst to do it that's a only leading factor okay. and in those moments when i was really struck up with few things so he used to guide me so you need to do this way it would be that again he'll not say that you need to do this way he'll say like it would be good if you do it that way yes suggesting not forcing yes because um, again the non interference concept okay. <laughs> that's a that's a plus point of having a spiritual partner absolutely <laughs> and of course there are there would be uh, hiccups because there's a hairline difference being as a colleague and also as a partner yes so uh, we take it in our two sides of a coin people do think like they all uh, in the same place they can always be together but who whoever have seen us in pyramid valley <laughs> all they know the real working chair sector is and this and he's somewhere else only that's how the work is yes absolutely and uh, i always say to a lot of people because uh, being in this the working relationships or the colleagues or the meditation friends everything uh, there are a lot of common people yes so uh, yes. you can't express immediately anything ah uh, yes and when i once did it it just happened without knowing when the opposite person started speaking about chandu i felt in a different way yes. so i opened the gateway of them to speak, to speak. about him yes <laughs> so they took the situation as a vulnerable situation and uh, they started taking it in a different way so then onwards i i started seeing like when i express about him in a forum mm-hmm. it should be really in a professional way correct. because i cannot take it granted as a husband correct wow it's a beautiful message or experience you just shared anyone who is viewing our uh, episode today is in the same situation where you have you are working in a with your partner in a same space how beautifully she just master stroke i would say that uh, it's really uh, need a very full awareness and a balance of how you're not taking your partner for granted in a space around you you need to be very in a full awareness how you portray your yourself and as well as your partner you you know your uh, husband and wife but there's a different roles that you're playing because right it's now. a joint account correct <laughs> <laughs> yes it can't run by one yeah. and uh, i to have seen there are a lot of situations where of course being as a couple there would be small uh, tom and jerry's situations yes. correct 
and uh, i haven't seen like we going to the extremes fighting like anything but of course being in the day to day life for the tv remote or which which movie you want to see oh, the small thing will always be there oh wow <laughs> i was just imagining you as a perfect couple i thought oh no no this also happens with you <laughs> no i'm learning so much from you guys because you know we are all seeking and learning each day so i i am sitting here in front of you and i'm learning so much and i believe if each one of you who are watching today are learning so much about how you know how can you balance even if you're not working at a sim, same space even if you're at a relative place or somewhere how to balance out you know your personal life and a, the life that you uh, lead in front of other people it's it's a very commendable it's a very beautiful message that, that you just gave to us very beautiful experience and there are there were situations like when we really go out of line mm-hmm. you know without knowing somehow there would be a call from patri sir yes instant <laughs> calling yeah wake and, up and it 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 would, it would be like um, you know how we used to have fightings also if patri sir calls him and suddenly if he is in really busy work he would say me the next morning uh, uh, yesterday patri sir called said how dare it is almost more than 12 hours how did you share with me <laughs> yes <laughs> then i'll take up the point see the only thing i am bonded with you still is because we have that spirituality tag yes so and uh, when we are in that mode and how can you miss saying that see because if patri sir calls he just it's like a boost to us yes so that is the only place where the driving force to take us forward yes and uh, and i'm really happy whenever sir used to call him so he last ishan le there yes yeah. so he'll also speak with me and there were situations where if i'm not there he'll tell like ask her to call me yes so we are really really fortunate enough and blessed enough for being in that uh, wonderful place of yes. pyramid valley and um, we just bow down to sir because each and every moment as i told you there is just a small hiccup yeah. with his call sir is like and this is just part and parcel of life what is they going to happen yes that? so Even we are here with a purpose so yes. when the bigger purpose is there these smaller jerks and all just disappear you, you feel like it is a play okay of today course. today i'll act like i'm angry with you tomorrow i'll be okay with you so you enjoy that play also but uh, yes sir yes like yeah definitely because the movie should have uh, all the emotions yes so our movie also uh, there will be different emotions but uh, the end card will be the the good good climax. climax interestingly you just mentioned about how uh, your movie should have all the emotions spirituality doesn't mean that you have perfect life perfect your uh, relationship all all phases you experience and yes yes and you lead life like a normal human being yeah definitely we because she uh, as she has come from chennai and I has come from uh, Nandra because she wanted to watch Tamil movie I wanted to watch Telugu movie so there will be Amazon Netflix uh, fight fight will be there but finally I'll watch Tamil <laughs> I'll come for <please>. it <laughs> oh <laughs> not everything not everything <laughs> I was waiting for that I was waiting for that what is the truth I want to know <laughs> but that's okay yeah. that's a balance also there wow so because uh, in uh when 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 we compromise there is a there is a happiness yes always not as none like suppression that yeah not a suppression yes it is the nature of giving yes so always Out of love. She, she enjoys and i enjoy wow yeah. again like a master stroke she just shared like it's even if you're compromising in a relationship it's not like okay you're having hurt or you have bad feeling inside you i have to compromise for you know <coughs> i have to do complaints and all of that it's out of love So that's understanding is because of I th- I believe it's because of meditation and the spiritual work that we're doing together and uh, the books that we read. So wow. Yeah, so as she said because the bigger cause is there in yes. front of us. So yes. all of these things. And now before I move into a fun segment of our episode, I want to ask you one last question. Now that we have understood about uh, so many, you know, aspects of relationship and how interestingly and amazingly you balance your work life, life as a partnership. So are you also uh, thinking about extending your family? So or do you like kids? How are you prepared for, you know, 
uh, experiencing fatherhood. So what are your experiences and what are your thoughts on it, experiencing motherhood? As I told you, uh, in the initial days when I used to hear from people like after marriage we were not able to go to the uh, meditation sessions. So similarly, I have heard from other women also uh, once I got, if even though if they would have got married to a pyramid master, they would say like, uh, uh, I thought of serving this way but I couldn't because uh, I'm into the complete family cares and everything. And uh, at one point of time though, it happened and after that, we also understood that it's a kind of a, a life what we chose. Yes. So people used to ask me, like, you got married in a very younger age. So now if I look back, I really feel happy because I got married in a very younger age. Now I took a lot of time to maximum spend my time into the service. Okay. And there are still a lot of my college friends who haven't married yet too. Mm -hmm. So if I take it in that way, I'm I'm really happy enough and satisfied enough that I have done my maximum and the best possible. And now we want to really turn our wheels towards the next phase of life too. Wow. And of course, recently we also completed our uh, tenth year of wedding anniversary, oh, wow. and it is also such a uh, happy moments where out of this ten years we were almost seven times on that particular day with Patri sir. And it just happened. Sir really loves you. <laughs> it's a beautiful experience. To experience that, that beautiful moment with the Grand Master himself. His love is always with you guys. And during our, uh, when we went, with, went to Sir, like, so we completed a five years. Sir, whoa, five years done? Okay. It was like project is okay, done. <laughs> yes. We were like a checklist yes. is completed. So recently, uh, when I met Sir for that 10th uh, year anniversary, he said, um, Sir, I really wanted to know about the progress. Are we really okay? Uh, are, are, is that fine in the journey? Or what, with what some expectation you would have kept us in Pyramid Valley? How do you feel? So like, you have learned from each and every situation. You have done your best. We are happy that you are here. Wow. And uh, you both are doing really wonderful. What words would I have to tell about you? So, uh, we just felt okay, so we are fine enough, we are good enough. It's like um, you get a progress report, na? the grades. Yes. So that's how I felt, it was good. So we are really chosen and we are in this path and we are happy enough that we are doing justice to it. Just in a short way, can you share how you mentally and you know, there's there's a lot of uh, preparation that need that happens when you're ready for the next step in life. Whether it's uh, anywhere, whether it's in a professional life or uh, personal life, how would you like to express it? Because my expression is, it's always uh, following the flow. Okay. Because uh, once we are ready, because the, the amount of the responsibility and uh, uh, the support and uh, taking, taking care of them and everything, so it, it's naturally uh, wow. will flow for wow. follow the flow thank you so yeah. much let's turn this uh, episode into a fun segment and our segment uh, name is who knows who best i'll begin with the shalini ma'am i'll ask you five questions <laughs> and you have to answer about in a one word okay and i'll ask chandu sir whether it's correct or not and same goes with you yeah. Okay, so what is Chandu sir's favorite color? Favorite color? <laughs> no, 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 no. After her, she answers. Okay. <laughs> no helping. <laughs> yeah. Red. And don't lie. <laughs> don't lie to say what. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Is okay. that correct or not? No. no. Oh, which? <laughs> which which one is this? Which one? Blue. It's a blue. Oh, okay. All right. No worries. We have four other left. Okay. Uh, what is uh, Chandrasar's favorite cuisine? Pappu and avakai. Oh, is that correct? Yes. Are you? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, which which is the last movie that Chandrasar saw? With you or without you? We recently saw Pushpa. Pushpa. First day. Yeah. 
We saw the poster. <laughs> <laughs> that I also know. <laughs> so we can also say yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. So um, okay. Now I have to think to make it more tough for you. <laughs> okay. Um, what is Chandusa's go-to place when he he really would like to go there to just be? Apart from uh, our beautiful Pyramid Valley. Pyramid Valley. <laughs> But anyways, that is the again uh, turn out place. But I can mention like any place with the serene nature. Okay. Okay. Uh, so do ch- I'll continue with this. Do Chandusa like uh, beaches or mountain more? Mountains, because he wasn't there with the beach. I like beaches more because I was in Chennai. I was about to ask him. <laughs> okay, I'll change the question now. So is it correct? Yes. Yes. Oh, Thank awesome. You. You know Chandusa through and through. Wow. <laughs> Now it's his turn. Let's see how much he knows you. What is that one song that Shalini Ma'am can listen on to? on repeat? Recently? Any any song that you recently yes. Okay. Yeah, Sarangadariya. Is that correct? Yeah. Oh wow. Do she dance on it? <laughs> yeah, she dances. We have seen you dance on it <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> she she is a better than me in dancing. When when are we getting the opportunity to see that? <laughs> All right. Apart from fun, let's move on to next question. Okay. Um, what is Shalini Ma'am's favorite book? Favorite book. <clears throat> Surrender Sex Moment. Huh? Is it? Yes. Oh wow. uh so do shalini ma'am likes to write more or read more read more read more is it correct 50 50 50 okay uh so last question is that uh, what is uh, shalini's uh, shalini ma'am uh, favorite say movie movie star movie star yeah movie star nani is it correct wow like you guys know each other through and through like wow 100 100 thank you thank you so much for playing with us for being here and for sharing beautiful journey with us so uh let's uh we are coming to the end of the show and uh, we can end <coughs> with a beautiful message of yours to for all of our viewers so yes sir yeah guys uh, my message to all the couples is that you, you just make your journey align with a universal cause so that your relationship always becomes a uh, meaningful okay. yeah that's my message thank you so much so we have the wonderful guideline from patri sir samsar mein nirvan so a lot of people do think meditation is for the old age it is not and there are a lot of people in pssm who have been meditating from the very young age so when the meditation starts from the teenage we know how to mold our life and that is how we both are here as an example and being in spirituality again doesn't mean to sacrifice anything as you have seen in the poster <laughs> we really go for the first day movies yes and when there was opportunity we also go morning 5 o'clock movies wow so we really enjoy life you be, you break the rules and system that no after work will go or whenever you feel like you do wow amazing so we enjoy life spiritually as well as in the materialistic way so no need to sacrifice your worldly affairs for the sake of spirituality and moreover the quality of life would be really upgraded with this meditation and the spiritual science so that is my message wow what a beautiful message thank you thank you ma'am and thank you sir for being with us and for coming on pmc english platform thank you thank you nandini thank you thank you